preparing the mountain higher up. And uh, we were just at base camp. Uh, we were waiting around. We were also watching the weather because it's really important that you get a, a clear spell of weather for about four to six days. It's going to take you that long to get up and back down again. And then finally the time came where we could actually go for the summit. So off we went. We went all the way through to Camp 2 that time. And we spent a couple of days at Camp 2. And then it was time to move on uh, up the Lotsy face. So this is the Lotsy face. Um, if I zoom in a bit, you might be able to just about see the tents. Those are the tents of Camp 3. They're just perched on the side of the mountain. And then the route goes up from there through the ice, up and along and to the left across this band of rock and up to this. This is the, the Geneva Spur. And then Camp 4 is just up here. And that's on the South Col, and that's in the death zone. So this is the Lotsy face. It's quite steep. Uh, you spend the next three days just walking like a duck, like this, because it's so steep. And uh, this is Camp 3. So you're perched on the side of the mountain. You don't want to get out the tent. It's really dangerous. If you slip, you're going hundreds of meters like a big slide down the mountain. So I don't think I got out the tent at all at Camp 3. And then you leave in the morning. We left at about half past five uh, when it was dark. And uh, yeah, you start, you start climbing. And I saw my, met my Sherpa for the first time uh, that day. Uh, we, that evening, we would go to the summit together. And then at, at Camp 3 is when you start using oxygen as well. So you can see I've got my oxygen mask on here. And oxygen is so important in helping climbers reach the top. It doubles your chances of getting to the top. And oxygen was really important in 1953 for Tenzing and Hillary uh, getting to the top as well. It was one of the main scientific advances that enabled them uh, to climb Everest. <laughs> and then I've also got a little video here. This shows you a little bit about oxygen and, uh, and it shows you getting me getting to the summit as well. So this is from one of the videos, we made lots of videos about the science of Everest uh, for the Institute of Physics, and so this is a clip from one of those. Oxygen at altitude is not like scuba tanks while diving. You won't die if you take off your oxygen mask for a while. You'll just be a bit out of breath. Altitude sickness usually takes several hours to develop. of Everest and if you look carefully you can just about see the curvature of the earth from up there. It's quite an amazing place. Um, this is me on the top um, with my little flag and you can see that I was really lucky. I had an incredible day, the views were amazing. You can see right down to like glaciers at about, they're probably three or four thousand meters below me. Uh, so yeah, I, it was an amazing incredible experience being able to do that and for me being able to walk in those historic footsteps being able to see the places that i've read so much about uh, over like in books over all this time so i was incredibly lucky that the weather was good and the mountain was kind to us of course it was hard it required a lot of mental strength as well as physical strength uh, but it was just a privilege to to be in that in that place and as a scientist, as a physicist, I see science in the landscapes that I love. And I was able to look at what has made Everest safer over the years. These are things like, well, Everest is safer than ever. So things like improvements in weather forecasting, communications, clothing, oxygen, medicine, helicopter rescue, and even the way that we manage 
the climbs. All of these things have really contributed to safety on Everest. Uh, but it's wider than that. It's not just about Everest, because when we have new capabilities, we can push further. So science and exploration really drive each other. And this is what fascinates me. This is why I love it. So if you want to know more about the science of Everest, because I haven't had much chance to go into that today, then uh, do go and have a look at YouTube uh, on the Institute of Physics uh, YouTube channel. I've got a playlist about science on Everest where you can find out more about the preparation, the risk, the statistics, but also the science that's made Everest safer. Things like the oxygen and the communications and the weather forecasting. So do go over there and have a look. And of course you can find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you very much.